one for the better team. I can't say it any other way. I don't really think everybody knows what they're about to witness. I have no talent when I see one. I should be an NFL scout. Jonathan, I don't like that pick. I love that pick. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dormaby Podcast, and welcome to our divisional series. This is where we rank every single division in the NFL from the best to the worst. We are going to be doing the NFC West on this episode. Super, super exciting. Uh, if you don't remember or you just didn't know, the San Francisco 49ers are in this division, the 49ers, the Los Angeles Rams, the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks, and the Arizona Cardinals. Some things to note here. The Seahawks got a new head coach, and it is Mr. Mike McDonald. He uh, was a defensive coordinator for Michigan, moved to the Ravens as defensive coordinator, and he is now a head coach for the Seattle Seahawks. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that goes. The rankings from last year, 49ers came in first, Rams came in second. They both made the playoffs, and the Seahawks came in third, and the Cardinals came in fourth. They did not make the playoffs. So now we're going to rank who's going to come in first. And to no surprise, I have the 49ers coming in first in the NFC West. Yeah, you guys can predict mine. I am also going with the San Francisco 49ers to win the NFC West. NFC West, I got 49ers winning as too. NFC West, I have the 49ers as well. Nice, Jonathan. Good job. (laughs) <laughs> and who will come in <laughs> you picked right <laughs> yeah like it's like a <laughs> like good, a multiple choice good. looking over the <laughs> uh, who will come in last in the NFC West it will be the Arizona Cardinals I have the Arizona Cardinals coming in last oh, I have the Cardinals too I thought I'd okay. I have the Seattle Seahawks coming in last Oh, oh, I knew it. Don't do I it to it. me. Okay. Because of Marvin Explain. Harrison, right? Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison. Kyler he can't back. single-handedly win a division. <laughs> well, he'll, he'll have oh, a he's not saying attack. win the division. I don't say win. He's not lose. He's not, yeah, they're not going to do as bad. Not be last. Yeah, not be yeah. last. The Seahawks, now, people are going to realize that coaches make a big difference. That They have a, a big impact on the culture, but basically. Pete Carroll, he's a winner, so he always managed to at least do decent. Um, I mean, last season they're nine eight, oh. but he always managed to do decent. This is a new coach, new regime. And it's going to be different um, with 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 Geno Smith. I think they're going to be in last. I think they're going to struggle to. I think they're going to struggle post Pete Carroll. It's just a different culture, um, different different demands. They lost uh, Bobby Wagner, who's a key veteran on the team for many years. Um, they have they have, they've got some good additions like. Um, okay, well. They have a backup quarterback, Sam Howell. They have Jerome Baker. Not I think really Sam any Howell's getting playing eye popping sure. Yeah, he it. might. But he did. I think yeah. it's a big. I think the big thing is the coaching change. I think that's going to play a big effect on the culture. I and honestly, it's going to take a, Jonathan. What was that? Let me let me tell you what's going to happen. I agree with that. I think the head coach is going to make make a change in the culture. I think honestly, this defense is going to be one of the best defenses in the division. And I think it's going to rival the 49ers. Mike McDonald, very good at Michigan. Jared, you know that. I mean, they got Leonard Williams from the Giants. He was our best defensive player. And they got him from the Giants midseason last year. They got Jonathan Hankins from the Cowboys. They have Jaron Reed. That defensive line is very good. They also got Jerome Baker from the Dolphins in the offseason. And then we know... Reek Woolen on the outside cornerback from last season. He was good as well. I think it's going to be a good defense. And they're going to. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Devin oh, Witherspoon. Yeah. He's very good. Yeah. I think that it's going to be a run first offense. Ken Walker's going to have a good season. Defense first. Um, like you said, Jared, I think Sam Howell could get some playing time if they start to struggle. Uh, but I do have the Rams coming in second in this division, so I I don't think it's going to be a huge difference between Same. the Seahawks and Cardinals. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be a huge difference. Um, yeah, I yeah I was I was close I was close with Seattle being second to last, but because mm-hmm. last year I had them winning because I was more you know hopeful on Geno Smith because he came off a really good year, 
um, little little stagnation last year. I think he could still be good, but Sam Howell is like the ceiling is higher. It's almost like a James Winston scenario where you wonder if it goes bad enough, they might throw him in. But a little bit to what you're saying, Jonathan, is like I think Pete. Car- I mean, Pete, there's no replacing Pete Carroll. It's a legend. But like I think for the past two years ago and last year, um, the Seattle Seattle's drafted really well. So like. What, what he left behind might be kind of John. I mean, that's not all draft picks, but like what he left behind might be a really good situation for a coach to get into with a lot of the stability. Again, quarterback being the number one and the fundamental, like a defense potential. Like, I, I, that's why I kind of put them above with the Rams. I wasn't sure because I know they, they lost Donald, but it's Stafford. I did, I do like Stafford a lot. They have Cup. Like, it's like, I don't think they'll repeat. They gave up the future to win the Super Bowl, which I respect, but that's part of where the era where we think we're in now. Could they still have McVay? You know, who knows? Uh, it's been a, been a year or two. With the Cardinals, I think they have that great receiver, you know, with the draft, with the neighbors and stuff. But, like, uh, I just don't like Gannon as a coach. You know, I know he used to be on the Eagles, but I kind of – I, I, I said enough guy. about the Super Bowl scenario. Yeah, like, I just don't think he's the guy to, like, make the most out of that. He's the head coach I like the least, personally. So, it's like – that's part of it. I don't even know the Seattle one that well. <laughs> So that's Dang. where my I come from, but yeah, yeah. But San Francisco winning the division, it's like big picture they would probably win the division. But I'm like, like I don't know. This might be another podcast, but like, will they actually make a run? Like, like they they twice now they've lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Is there any moment in their head where it's like, what's the point? You know, like yeah. it's gonna happen again. You know, like is that gonna affect the regular season? I don't think so. I think they'll have a great, you know, on paper season, but. Will it make it? I still have them winning, but I, just, I wonder big picture what psychologically the team's at. I don't know where Brian, Brandon Ayuk is going to go. Is he going to stay or is he going to? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably well, staying. McCaffrey was a legend, but it's like, same with Barkley. Like when they're both healthy, they're amazing. But like some of those, you're always wondering with the injury stuff. And then, you know, with the 49ers losing the Super Bowl, will they have a hangover? Um, I, you know, you, you want good football, but that's where my mind's a little bit at. I still have them winning, but that's kind of. I'm like, I'm picking the number one, but what's the point? Like, unless something has changed, we're just going to get the same thing as last year. And that's what we talked about after the Super Bowl. So it's like, fundamentally, what's changed? I don't know. Yeah, not much. Not much, honestly. They, it's not like they got <laughs> significantly better. It's not like they got worse. It just were Still average. enough to win their division. I will think? say, but, though, yeah. I, I told John this earlier. I think Kyler Murray, Marvin Harrison – great duo it's gonna be a a Mm. lethal duo and i honestly think that by the end of the season marvin harrison jr will be a top 10 receiver like he'll be looked at like uh like john was saying like oh like a jamar chase rookie season yeah where chase literally is like oh yep you're rocketed at the end of the season you're rocketed right to top 10 top five that's how he's gonna be Mm. looked he's he was clear cut It's a great receiver class, clear-cut number one receiver for a reason. Mm. And he just looks like like the perfect receiver you would build. Just long, lengthy, great hands, very fast. Um, So as much as I don't want to put, like, Marvin Harrison and Kyler at the bottom, I just think as a team it's bad. But that duo is going to be super, super exciting. Um, especially what we saw with Kyler and Hopkins uh, and DeAndre Hopkins with, with both of them. I think it could be the same yeah. kind of dynamic duo. Um, but yeah, Marvin Harrison is legit. 